Today we're gonna to look at the difference between the Deep Snow Pro Link Bag and the Slim Link Tunnel Bag. I've been running this for about two seasons and I just got this and ran it a couple days. And there are some differences. While we're here, I quickly wanna talk about this Bropagonia shirt that I'm wearing. We have a limited stock available. You can get one with the link in the description below. First of all, let's look at the Slim Link Tunnel Bag. It's really slim and long. It has four buckles to open it up, go like that. And then it's got this massive bag that you can fit all kinds of things in here. I have what I ride with daily, which is... The new Rotex toolkit. I put my spare key in there. And then a bunch of traps. The inside of it is yellow, so you can see things inside. And loading and unloading is very easy. As you watch, and then to close it, just do one of these numbers, put the lid on, give it a little bit of chest compression, again CPR, and clip it together. Some things that are unfortunate, I have the 2021 154 stock turbo from Skidoo, which only has two placements because it's actually a 150, 147 track. So it takes up both of the spots. Which means on deep powder days, you have to choose slim link tunnel bag for extra fuel. One of the things that the slim link tunnel bag allows for are these extra clips, which gives you the opportunity to put your removable snow flap on the back of the bag. I actually have never done this because it turns out that you don't need a snow flap ever. Another thing, this thing is quite heavy. It's made out of anti-ballistic tank shell. Now we have the new Deep Snow Pro link bag. It is one position instead of two. And both of these clip into the oval hole in the link adapter. You want to make sure that your clips close to the back. You can also run a fuel caddy together. And on deep days, this setup is probably ideal compared to the slim link tunnel bag. Things that are nice about this bag, they are using a new material that probably won't hold snow as much on the straps. The four buckles are out of the way, so they're not on the edges. What I don't like though, is to take this off, you have to take all four straps off and then it's not connected to anything. So if you just do two, you're gonna have trouble getting into the bag. Or if you did this option where you leave one connected, it's hanging on the ground. Or if you take it off entirely, then maybe it falls off and gets in the wind. You can put dirty socks or gloves in here, which I think is nice. I'm not crazy about the idea. Here Skidoo really upgraded the zipper. This is like the heaviest grade zipper I've ever seen. Can be a little tight opening. There's a very small, actual opening to get inside of here. Comes with some Velcro dividers in case you want to organize your belongings into compartments. Some people like to do this with life. And it also features the inside in yellow, which can make it easier to see the things. Okay, we're gonna try and see if we can fit all those things that I ride with with the Slim Link bag into the Deep Pro bag. Toolkit, which I should note, there is a back of seat bag that I'm receiving shortly to house this. So I won't be have to have to do that in the future. And because the 2021 stock turbos don't have the hood with glove box, you're really looking for storage anywhere you can get it. Okay, we have fit everything into the bag. It is described as a 30 liter bag. We're gonna zip it up. Here we have a full Deep Snow Pro link bag, fuel caddy on a 154, which is actually a 140 something track. Don't you mean tunnel? Yes, tunnel. I have a ride of players and I know that. And as you can see, the bag sits a little high. That's why they took the word slim out of its name. So I thought that this bag would be the go-to for this year, but after seeing it 
sit a little higher. I think this combination is only gonna be on days where it's really deep snow and I have to ride with a fuel caddy for extra fuel. Otherwise, Slim Link Tunnel Bag is gonna be the go-to option for most of the year. Let us know what you think about these bags in the comments. Remember to like, share, turn on your post notifications, and get you some merchandise.